How's it going, brothers and sisters? <clears throat> if you don't know, now you know, uh, or you will know, that the world is upside down. We are uh, definitely living in the last hour, the last time, the end of the age. Um, so many uh, world and current events uh, con uh, corresponding with um, Bible prophecy are taking place. So um, <clears throat> one thing I wanted to touch up right now on was Israel being attacked and how, uh, you know, it's steady. Um, all these current and world events are fulfilling Bible prophecy. And it's moving at a uh, at a uh, very, very fast pace and rate. I don't know if you realize or notice that it seems like um, time is sped up. But um, <clears throat> I wanted to read you a piece of scripture and then, you know, uh, and then we'll go from there. In Luke 21, 20, it states, When you see Jerusalem being surrounded by armies, you will know that its desolation is near. Then let those who are in Judea flee to the mountains. Let those in the city get out, and let those in the country not enter the city. For this, so I'll stop right there. That was Luke 20, uh, 21, 20, and 20, and 21. Luke 21, 20 and 21. When you see Jerusalem being surrounded by armies, you will know that its desolation is near. So, um, you know, God uh, brings judgment uh, a lot of ways, but uh, from history, the way that he brings it a lot in the Bible is war, famine, pestilence, and natural disasters. And we have seen a ton of natural disasters this year uh, from Turkey and Syria being hit with over 50,000 dead uh, I believe that was in March around March and uh, even uh, this week where Afghanistan got hit with a 6.3 uh, magnitude earthquake and um, they have already got 2,500 dead and bodies kind of still uh, racking up uh, it's funny that you know, they are, um, what is the word, um, in cahoots with um, Hamas, and uh, then, the, you know, the earthquake kicks, and uh, I believe that's, you know, the Lord bringing judgment for their actions and orchestrating this whole ordeal uh, with the, with the uh, invasion of Israel through Hamas. And so we're going back to Luke 21, 20. When you see Jerusalem being surrounded by armies, you will know that its desolation is near. And and, and that is something that we are, uh, uh, prophecy that is taking place right now as uh, Israel has been invaded and um, they are surrounded by uh, Arab and, and Muslim nations. And um, Hamas is calling for a, a global jihad where basically, um, you know, all the Arab Muslim countries uh, attack and uh, come in from all sides and, you know, basically uh, almost like a, a human sacrifice uh, for their religion uh, and God. But um, <clears throat> so we can see that taking place right now and the prophecy being fulfilled as Jerusalem is surrounded by all these nations, north, south, east, and west. And uh, America is supposed to have its back. Um, hopefully, this is the, tr uh, the truth and what will happen. You know, because as uh, the word says that whoever blesses Israel will be blessed, and whoever curses or comes against Israel, God uh, will come against them. It's like poking him in the eye. You know, uh, because uh, you know God's not going to stand for anybody um, threatening or coming against his children. Uh, which you know, you don't have to be a Hebrew or an Israel Israelite to be his children, as we are the Gentiles and we can be grafted in, and we are considered children as well. But um, let those who are in Judea flee to the mountains, and let the and and let those in the city get out, and let those in the country not enter the city. So uh, that's taking place right now. People are fleeing. People are leaving the country. People are scared of their life. People are trying to get to. Uh, uh, places where um, they can get away from the war and I'm sure uh, with war going on um, you can't get in either you know whereas uh, uh, Jerusalem and 
Um, Israel is a very popular tourist uh, attract uh, state, and um, <clears throat> I'm sure uh, tourism is not uh, going on right now. But for this is the time of punishment and fulfillment of all. This is a uh, Luke 21, 22, for this is the time of punishment and fulfillment of all that has been written. So, you know, everything has been written and uh, it's going to take place as uh, God desires. Um, you know, th there there is war, but it, it is a war on a physical sense, whereas in spiritually, um, it's not, you know, God and Satan arm wrestling and, and Satan putting up a, a fierce battle. And you know we barely win. No, that's that's not uh, how it, it. That's how it, uh, he likes it to be depicted. But um, that is not the case. Whereas um, Satan is just God's puppet, and uh, he everything he does is allowed by God. God is on the throne. The ruler uh, on the throne is in control of all. So Satan is just a puppet uh, fulfilling of uh, God's word and prophecy. And uh, like I said earlier, that God brings punishment through famine, war, pestilence, and natural disasters. And as we see right now, punishment is taking place. Um, it is uh, chastisement, um, but it is to bring people back to God. And we see that punishment is being fulfilled right now. Then we move on to verse 23. How dreadful will be in those days for pregnant women and nursing mothers. There will be a great distress in the land and wrath against his people. And that's self-explanatory as, you know, that goes for every country uh, or nation that's in war like uh, Russia and Ukraine. <clears throat> it is, it's hard times when there's scarce food, electricity, um, and uh, not proper um, medical um uh, facilities anymore or medical treatment at all so for pregnant women or nursing mothers it can be hard whereas the baby can't get the treatments and the nourishment that it needs um then we move on to verse 24 they will fly by, fall by the sword and will be taken as prisoners to all the nations jerusalem will be trampled on by the gentiles until the time of the gentiles are fulfilled um and we see that taking place right now where um there, there is a lot of um, Israelites being taken captive, prisoners of war, and also there's uh, Americans, there's Thai people, there's Britain. Uh, I was in this article over here, and um, there's 29 Thais, uh, total 18 dead, 11 missing, so 11 missing there, prisoners of war, uh, Brits. Uh, Nepalese, uh, Nepal, Nepalan, uh, Argentinians, French people, Ukrainians, Canadians, Germans, French. So um, they are, are not um, biased on who they're taking uh, or who they're killing. Um, if we go to the strong word uh, for Hamas or the blue letter definition for Hamas in the Bible, uh, it comes from the, I think it comes from the root word uh, Chamas, but it's Hamas pronounced, and um, the definition is violence, uh, physical violence, wrong, malicious, uh, injustice, oppression, you know, just all bad stuff, and that's exactly what we're seeing them do right now, uh, living up to the definition of their name. Um, so let's move on. Oh, uh, we can go back to 24. Jerusalem will be trampled on by the Gentiles and the, the times of the Gentiles are fulfilled. And we see that taking place. And uh, as the time of the Gentiles is fulfilled, which is, it's here. Uh, we're at the tail end of that time, which the time of the Gentiles uh, for us to be grafted in is, the, is, is also known as the age of grace. Whereas uh, accepting uh, Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, is a free gift let me turn this screen off i think i'm done with the computer it, it's a free gift and um by accepting jesus christ as your lord and savior you can have the gift of salvation uh your soul and uh your spirit 
but uh, when the age of grace is over, the time of the Gentiles is over, that will no longer be available. Um, you won't have the free gift anymore. You'll be able to get the gift through works. And what the Bible uh, describes as those works is being uh, beheaded, uh, being a martyr for Christ. Um, so, uh, I think, oh, what scripture it says? Uh, I can't remember the exact scripture, uh, but it says, um, make your mind up now. Make your mind up now for Christ so that when the time comes, you'll be ready. Um, so make your mind up now that you're going to um, love Christ, that you're going to um, be loyal and faithful all the way to the end, even if it uh, means death. Um, so, oh, I do need this computer. I was reading from it. Let's go back. Um, so we're going to move on to uh, verse 25. There will be signs in the suns, the moons, and the stars. On the earth, nations will be in anguish and perplexity as the roaring and tossing of the sea. So we see that taking place as uh, God said, the, the signs will be in the stars, the moons, and the skies. Uh, not astrology, but astronomy. And um, everything uh, according to astronomy is... Um, is showing uh, truth and showing where we're at in time as God uses the, the sky and the stars and the moon and the sky, uh, the, the sun, the moon, and the stars uh, as his signs and his calendar. Um, and um, to prove what's going on, where we're at in time, and what's going to happen. Um, and as right now in the stars and the, and, and the moon and the sky and in the celestial skies, we see that the uh, the virgin is about to give birth, and um, so that's a big sign. And uh, you know, look up, people, look up, uh, pay attention to these signs. Let's move on to oh, and the roaring and tossing of the sea. We see that right now when it comes to earthquakes and tsunamis, and and um, and also sea is also known uh, as. Uh, a group of people so we see that right now with uh, groups of people uh, religious groups of people being um, tossed to and fro tossed to and fro as um, things are getting crazy and a uh, nation is rising up against nation and uh, kingdom against kingdom let's move on with uh, verse 26 people will faint from terror apprehension of what is coming on the world where the heavenly bodies will be shaken and we see that and as we see that uh, the, the dragon and uh, his angels are being cast down and uh, things are just going to get worse and worse and worse at, the, at that time uh, when these things begin oh wait sorry about that at that time they will see the son of man coming in a cloud with power and great glory when these things begin to take place, stand up, lift up your heads, because your redemption is drawing near. So although we see all these things, all these signs, all these writings on the wall, let's go to verse 28, which is in Luke 21, verse 28. When these things begin to take place, stand up. Not just stand up, but stand firm and lift up your heads because your redemption is drawing near. And this is for the believers and the non-believers. If uh, you're not a believer and you're not putting Christ first, um, you're not going to be prepared for the storm. You have to be prepared spiritually. And if you're prepared spiritually, um, if you're being prepared spiritually, then you'll be prepared when physically when these things manifest. Um, and God will guide your ways. So uh, be prepared, be prepared, people. Um, and, and, and sing the Lord um, and, and remember that uh, God is in control and he's sitting on the throne and remember uh, Exodus 15 3 the Lord is a man of war the Lord is his name uh, so the Lord he, Jehovah of armies and uh, Jesus Christ our Lord you know he's coming back as a roaring lion and he, and he will defend us uh, and he will be there for us so uh just 
just keep that uh, in mind and uh, lead on those promises and lead on uh, the 7,000 promises and the over 7,000 promises in the Bible. Um, uh, like I said before in the past, that the Lord hovers over his word waiting to perform it. He hovers over his word waiting to perform it. So he wants you to throw those promises up in his face. Uh, it's like activating it. Uh, through prayer, a closed mouth don't get fed. Words have power. Um, if you don't know where to begin, you can begin right now by accepting Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. Uh, just uh, bow your head and, uh, and and mean it from the heart and uh, repeat after me. Heavenly Father, Lord Jesus Christ, I'm a sinner. I know I have sinned, but through you. I can be saved, I can be justified, I can be set free of the curse. I believe, Lord, that you died on the cross for me, that you rose again so that I can be free. Lord, I call upon your name now. I call upon you now to come into my heart. Bless me with wisdom and your Holy Spirit. Guide me, strengthen me. Show me the times that we're living in. Give me understanding. Let me be the light to others. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. If you prayed that prayer, uh, consider yourself saved. And now that you're plugged into God's divine power, you just got to keep the plug in. If it's a five-foot cord um, and you walk six feet away, you're going to be you're gonna come unplugged. So you got to keep the plug in. You got to feed the Holy Spirit. You got to feed the strong man that's in there now. Uh, which is the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, the Holy Spirit. You you have to you have to feed them. You have to feed the strong man. You have to take in spiritual food. Remember, nutrition. What is nutrition? It's the spiritual nutrition is what you got to take in. Um, and, and I want to leave you with this. What is the one thing you can take with you to heaven? A lot of people said uh, my soul, myself. Uh, yes, but. Um, the one thing you can take with you to heaven is people. People. You can take people with, with you to heaven. That's why you have to be uh, a, a mini Christ, uh, a little Christ-like one, declaring the gospel, bringing people into the kingdom, making them kingdom citizens, um, and, 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 and friends and family. The ones we love are the ones we can reach. Um, the most uh, have a great day uh, remember the lord is with you always you're you're like a triangle with god at top you and christ at the bottom and the holy spirit keeping it all together in jesus name amen